how content management uh, systems uh, work. Content management systems like WordPress let you build and uh, manage uh, websites without having to interact with uh, the code that's doing all the work behind the scenes. When you understand how content management systems or CMS work, you could see why there are such popular tools uh, for building and uh, maintaining uh, websites. To understand uh, how a CMS works, we have uh, to start uh, with, how, with how web uh, sites uh, work. When you build uh, a simple website, you start uh, with an HTML and CMS. You put uh, together the HTML, CSS site and you launch it live using uh, FTP. Once that site uh, is live uh, for uh, a while, you may need uh, to go back and uh, make uh, some edits. To make edits to the site, you would use uh, FTP software again to download the file to your computer and edit the HTML or CSS file that you need, save it and re-upload them back live to the site. For small simple sites, this process is fine. However, what happens uh, when you add uh, dynamic uh, content such as a blog that will have the same content appear in multiple places? For example, when we add a blog to our site, not only do we have uh, the main blog uh, listing page that shows uh, the title and uh, excerpts, but we have the individual blog post page that shows the title and full content. And uh, on our homepage, we may also show the most recent blog posts with a title and an uh, excerpt again. Rather than copy and paste our code into these uh, three different uh, places, we would use a database to abstract or take this content out of our files and store in uh, and store it um, in a database. Once our data is uh, stored in a database, we can use uh, the programming language like uh, PHP, which uh, WordPress is built with, to add code to say pull the latest uh, post uh, in here or pull this uh, specific uh, post in here. In this case, we use uh, programming uh, code instead of hard code uh, content in our actual uh, files uh, that make uh, our website. At this point, though, if you wanted uh, to edit uh, your content, you would uh, still have uh, to interact uh, with uh, the database uh, somehow, either using a database application or using a code uh, once again. A content management system gives you an interface between your database in the database in the, your data in the database and yourself. Content management systems usually have uh, really well-designed admin areas that uh, let you log in and uh, see all of the content uh, from your database organized uh, in a nice, uh, modern, clear, clean way. Content management uh, systems uh, have what are called themes, which uh, is all of the code that uh, controls uh, what the front end of your site looks like. The concepts uh, front end and uh, back end are important to understand with the content management system. The front end is what your site looks like to visitors. The back end is where you go to edit all of your content that's being uh, stored in uh, the database. WordPress has an admin area or back end that looks the same for pretty much every site uh, you use. However, the front end for WordPress sites 
all look different. So you don't usually know when you're uh, when you are using uh, the WordPress uh, until you go to uh, log uh, into uh, the admin area and you can see the actual the actually WordPress software that's designed uh, to let you manage the content. Again, on the front end WordPress themes can make your content look just about uh, any way you want. Now that. Now that uh, we understand uh, a little bit uh, better about uh, how content management system work and the difference between the back end admin area and the front end theme look of the site. We can go into a bit more depth about uh, what WordPress uh, specifically can, uh, can and can't uh, do. So that's all about uh, how content management systems work. See you in next lecture. Goodbye.